Hey, what's up guys? My name is Saurav and this is my YouTube channel, Data Science Novice. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe. Your efforts are massively appreciated. And sorry guys, I have been busy with my office work. That's why I was not able to make any videos. But don't worry, I'm starting this new series on data pre-processing techniques. In this series, I'm going to talk about how to prepare the data for machine learning algorithm. And all together, we are going to explore 30 to 35 data pre-processing techniques. And the reason I'm choosing specifically this series, because I'm doing a project in my company and it requires a lot of data cleaning. So it's kind of 70% of the time is going in data cleaning and 30% is about uh, model building, trying different iteration of the model and all that thing. And that is the reality of this field. You know, as a fresher, we think that data science is all about fancy algorithms like neural network, gradient boosting and all that thing. But when we join a company, we face this reality that model fitting or you can say model building is just 10% of the project. So there is an information gap between what you think and what actually you do in real life. So to make you aware about all of these things, I am coming up with this series. So now let's talk about what is data pre-processing and what we are going to learn from this series. So by the end of this series, I'm pretty much sure that you will be able to do any kind of data cleaning task that is required in your project. So let's get started. So the first thing is that we need to understand the meaning of pre-processing. So it's a data mining technique that transforms raw data into understandable format. Because raw data or you can say real world data is always incomplete, messy and that data cannot be sent through a model. That would cause certain errors because our machine learning algorithms are not designed to handle missing data or you can say messy data. That is why we need to process the data before sending it through a model. So now let's talk about problem with real world data. So the first thing is that incomplete, that is missing values in certain attributes or variables. For example, you have a student data in which you have age variable. And in that variable, you ha don't have any age information for some student. So in that case, there is a none or you can say null values. So you can't expect your machine learning algorithm to actually train on that data until unless you impute the missing values with some kind of statistical analysis. Next, we have noise in the data set that is noisy data. When we say noisy data, it means containing errors or outliers. But in generally or in our case, it is always going to be outliers. Now suppose you are given the height data of student and by looking at that data, you realize that some students are really tall and some students are really short. So this is a case of noisy data or you can say outlier. And I'm going to talk more about outliers in the upcoming videos. So just hang in there. And yes, in this case, you can actually train the algorithm but the results are not going to be very great because data is noisy. So your model is going to be noisy. That means that it will not be able to predict correctly. Next, I would like to talk about inconsistency in the data. So when we say inconsistency, we actually mean some kind of human error in the data. So for example, we take the student data and in that data, we have height variable. And when we analyze the data, we see that it contains some negative value. And now if we apply our common sense, we know that we can't have a negative value in height column because height column cannot be, I mean, height cannot be negative. So by the time we know that it contains some negative value, we know that there is a discrepancy in the data. Next, we are going to talk about why we need to clean the data. So a data is a major asset of a company and it tells the story of a particular problem that the company is trying to solve. So now you see an inaccurate information of the data can lead to loss for the company. So data cleaning help us to get more accurate result or you can say more accurate in interpretation of a particular problem. Next, it reduces training time. See, if you have cleaned your data properly, chances are that you may end up getting good results within few iteration, which can save you a lot of time. You know, there is a tendency that 80% of the time goes into data cleaning and 20% time goes into model building. So after spending so much time, you want your model to give accurate result in less time. Now let's talk about the interesting part of this series. That is what we are going to learn in this series. 
So data cleaning in general has six steps. I mean, there are many things you can do with your data set. But in general, we see that we have to apply these six things in most of our projects. So if we go into the specifics, first we will start with missing values. And in that we are going to learn five different techniques. And once we have the understanding on a technique, we'll do the Python implementation of that technique by building a Python function or using sklearn library. So all in all, it is kind of a theory plus practical, which is I think is a best way to learn anything. Next, we will move to categorical encoding, which is nothing just converting a string or categorical data into numerical format. Because machine learning algorithm cannot understand the qualitative data, they need to be converted into numerical format. And obviously, I will talk in deep about each of these techniques in a particular video. So as of now, we are just going to have brief on everything. Similarly, we will do all these steps that I have shown you here. So as of now, I have 19 techniques altogether in my mind. But as we keep proceeding and if I come across any technique, I will keep it adding. Now the next question, which is I think really important for you. That is what you are going to learn from this series and why you should subscribe to my channel. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do like and subscribe. I put a lot of effort making these videos. So once you are done with this, all these techniques, you will have a better understanding about data science. Like it's not always about algorithms. There is more than the eyes meet. Next, you will learn how to deal or tackle data related problem. Like you will be confident while handling any kind of data. And obviously, since it's theory as well as practical, you will be learning how to use sklearn module for data cleaning, which is, I think, very important for any data scientist. And lastly, you will be able to build your own custom function for data pre-processing. So in a way, this course is going to help you in coding as well. And the side benefit is that since we are going to apply all these techniques on a data set, you will end up having a great project which you can write in your CV as well. So that's all from my side. These are the techniques that I'm going to cover. And if you have any techniques that you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section and I will try to make a video on that. So if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. So see you in the next video. Wear masks, stay safe and happy learning.